Are you tired of your sub-entry level attempts of capturing videos? Have you given up on those complicated manuals written in another language? Hi, and welcome to How To, the professional series. I'm your host, Roger McDougall. You may remember me from Action 5 News here in Phoenix, where for years I brought you the latest and greatest and most accurate news reports possible. Well, I've decided to spread my wing just a bit and get into the business of how-to videos. And today, we're going to venture off into the world of basic camera operations. Step one is to go to your local camera rental shop and select your preferred equipment. For this session, we will be using the Sony 250 camera. Once you've got your equipment safely at home, you're ready to get started. Whoa there! You're making the first mistake. Before you get the camera out, you want to set the tripod up securely. Start by extending the legs of the tripod to your desired height. Next, adjust the head of the tripod so that the meter reads level. Now you're ready to mount your camera. Take the mounting plate out of the bag. Next, locate the tripod's plate on top of the tripod's head. Screw the tripod's plate to the underside of the camera's mounting plate like so. Next, insert the plates on the head of the tripod from the rear and lock them securely into place. Simply slide the camera on, like so. Now that your camera is mounted, you're ready to set up for recording. As a tip, always keep one hand on the camera at all times. Attach the battery to the back of the camera and turn the camera on with the power switch. Take time to get to know your camera. Proper knowledge of the camera's functions will increase your ability to shoot the perfect footage possible. Let's start with the focus ring. This handy device allows you to pull objects in and out of focus with one simple turn. Let's try it out. Once the focus ring has been mastered, now we can move on to the zoom ring, located right behind it. You may find the zoom lever located here to be more convenient. Take time to get comfortable with whichever zoom method you choose. Before you get too excited, there's still a few more steps before we can start. First, you want to set the white balance. Setting the white balance will give you the truest color to your picture, giving you the best quality overall. Select a setting, A or B, to save your white balance. Either setting will do. Next, aim the camera towards the white card in the area of the subject that you would like to shoot. Zoom in to the white card and turn the focus ring so that the image is completely out of focus. Locate the white balance toggle switch on the front of the camera. Lift and hold it until the bleeping light has finished. You've just set the white balance. Next, you'll want to check for hot spots. Hot spots are those annoying little areas that are overexposed in the video that tend to ruin most amateurs' work. 
To rid your footage of these hot spots, locate the zebra tool on the camera. By turning the zebra tool on, you'll be able to identify and address these hot spots. Try adjusting the iris ring at the back of your lens. Adjusting the iris will bring less light into the camera, eliminating hot spots. Well, we've learned the focus ring, the zoom ring, setting the white balance, and checking for those annoying hot spots. And I know what you're thinking. Can I just shoot already? <laughs> Be patient. Next, we're going to take a look at the audio. Selecting your own microphone will be up to you, but for this demonstration, we will be using a simple handheld mic. First, insert the mic cable into one of the channels in the back of the camera. Plug in your headphones. Simply adjust the audio settings to your desired volume. Well, there you have it. Now you're ready to go out and shoot. All that's left to do is just press the record button. I hope you've enjoyed your time here with me on How To, the professional series. I've been your host, Roger McDougall.